Hey guys, welcome back to KC in Australia. Um, so today we're going to be having a sit down video and I'm going to talk about why I've moved to Australia and why I've decided to study marine biology and talk about a little bit about my course and degree. So stay tuned. So you guys know I've moved to Australia for my postgrad degree, a Master of Science Professional in Marine Biology. And yeah, it's going super great till now. I can't wait for what the future. It's like crazy, amazing. I love it. Okay, so now let's get down to the details. Um, so I've why I chose marine biology, why I wanted to do this field. Since I was a baby, I grew up next to the ocean. I was a beach bum. Let's say that I was a beach bum. I love the ocean. My mom she made as i was growing up she made me watch discovery channel and shark Cousteau and i mean nature just it just excited me and what lies beneath the ocean everything all the mysteries i mean everything about the ocean just excited me it wasn't until i think class seven or class eight I, when i realized that you know i could mix ocean with my daily work like it could be a, a whole thing, a whole career. That was when I decided I wanted to be marine, a marine biologist. That was the day I was like, yes, I'm going to be a marine biologist. And from then I've been working towards it. So actually this is my first time I'm actually studying the subject marine biology. I did my bachelor's in zoology and botany. It's because that was the closest thing I could get to in India. I know um, I feel like it was beneficial because I had like a full base of science and it made it kind of made me finalize that I really wanted to do marine biology and if you have the opportunity to study marine biology in your bachelor's go for it I'm I'm not gonna stop you go for it but for me I think it was a really good stepping stone to the field of marine biology gosh i've said marine biology too many times okay uh, we're gonna say marine biology from now on <laughs> okay okay <clears throat> enough rambling um so that's why i chose marine biology i my family is a whole animal lover family we i literally grew up in a zoo i've had i mean i have 20 plus turtles parrot dogs cats 19 plus cats and we've had guinea pigs bajerigas um am i missing something guinea pigs did i say that already fish a lot of fish so yeah also i rehabilitated animals such as sparrows squirrels yeah you can say my house is a zoo and it is cost of us the zoo <laughs> so hence you know animals ocean plus equals to marine <laughs> animals <laughs> so yeah uh i've all it's been my lifelong dream to study marine biology and i'm getting to do it and i'm so freaking excited now why i chose australia i know there are various places you can go like either florida you have alaska one of the youtubers i follow she studies in alaska and she's doing marine mammal science then I had a senior who did her postgrad from University of St. Andrews and there she did bioacoustics, she worked on bioacoustics and another YouTuber, she, she studied at Portugal, I think, yeah, then yeah, there are a lot of places to study marine bio, if you just do your research, you can find out various places to do and it all depends on what you're interested in. Now, since I was interested, since I am interested in coral reef research, Australia was the place to be because of the Great Barrier Reef. It's the, it's a major draw. It's why I've come to Australia. Also, Australia has two-year postgrad courses, whereas some courses in UK have only a year or so. I think uh, two years is better for me because I've never done marine biology as a subject, and I feel like this two-year course can set the basic groundwork for me i can't stand cold <laughs> i prefer tropical climates and um, 
we have tropical waters over here so yeah i prefer diving in warm water compared to icy cold water also it's it's a pain you have to wear dry suits and stuff it's too much okay so i think that is basically why i chose australia also steve Irwin. I've watched him since I was like super young and he's what got me into wildlife and yeah. He's why I've come to Australia as well. But yeah, okay. <laughs> Alright. So now let's talk about James Cook University. Uh, James Cook University has been ranked in the top two percent flux of in the world and number one for marine bio. And uh, I looked at other universities as well in Australia. There's University of Western Australia. That is where uh, Dr. Asha Devos has gone. She's a Sri Lankan marine biologist. And she did, she's into marine mammal science. And I did consider University of Western Australia as well. And um, I think I looked at Macquarie University. They were giving a marine science and data management course i think at my time when i applied but now uh, you'll have to so you all will have to just check but at my time they were giving a marine science and data management like two years back that was interesting because data management is a is a requirement in our field and i've had friends who applied to utas university of tasmania and uh, University of Sydney as well is another uni that you can look into. But I came across James Cook University on Instagram. Uh, I keep on following marine biologists on Instagram, like whoever is into marine biology and whoever is doing the research. And I found that this uh, this student had she passed out and she had done her research on coral reefs, and I was like, whoa. That's interesting and that's where I found out oh shit James Cook University it does exist and yeah so <laughs> that's how I found out about my uh, about James Cook University also here we have a research station called the Orpheus Island research station and it is amazing the research over here is crazy I followed marine biologists working over here and their coral documentation is crazy it's amazing crazy and mind-blowing oh, yeah. James Cook JCU was on top and I'm here uh, yeah also James Cook we have uh, has so many courses over here even if you don't want it like even if there's someone who's not into marine bio and watching this video they have dentistry medical veterinary science oh my god the veterinary I mean it is tough but the work they do makes me want to change the bedside sometimes sometimes <laughs> but yeah dentistry is in Cairns there are different campuses I'm at the Townsville campus and dentistry is at the Cairns campus and yeah James Cook is a really good university I I'm enjoying I love it okay so uh let's talk about my degree i'm doing a master of science professional majoring in marine bio there are different so the master of marine science uh professional is like topic and then there are subtopics so like marine biology tropical science aquaculture um tropical biology i'm not sure i don't remember wait let me just check yeah so it has eight majors and my i've obviously i'm majoring in marine bio and my course entails subjects like conservation genetics uh, conservation biology uh, evolution and ecology of reef fish and what else am i doing oh yeah we have a lot of data analytics courses as well which is a big plus which i'm loving which is I mean, which is a good help for your future because when you're doing research you really need to know how to data analyze so yeah we have subjects for that as well also we have a uh, skill uh, subjects that enhance skills and stuff and um, 
field techniques as well my so my course is a two-year course uh, with 48 credit points so my first year I'll be doing um, only subjects like basic like normal just studying subjects different different kinds of subjects so basically i want to find out like what i'm really interested in so today is so now currently i'm doing a subject that is marine biogeography so it's like how how marine fauna is spread across the entire world and how it came to be there how it was there so basically that's marine biogeography and I'm doing another subject that is evolution and ecology of reef fish as well. And I am enjoying that subject. That subject is really interesting. It's all about reef fish and I love it. Also, so my first year is only doing is only studying various kinds of subjects from different parts of marine bio. And then my second year I get to do a research or professional employability so professional employability is where they'll send you uh, to work under um, some company in the marine industry so like you get to know how it works in the professional sector uh, otherwise you have another stream that is research based so if you want to publish a paper if you want to do some kind of research that's where you want to go and that's where I'm hoping to go <laughs> So yeah, this I love this the setup of my degree, and yeah, that's basically all about. If you guys want to know more, you can always ask me more questions, and always check out the websites. So now tips for like you know choosing and finding your university. Look at websites, study that website. I'm telling you, I think I looked at JC's website more than a million of um, more than a million times like too many times that i can't even count and um yeah so look at the website look at there so all universities keep on posting youtube videos of their degrees and stuff so take a look at that you get to know the professors as well and then you can find out more about your, the professors that are teaching certain subjects and also yeah on facebook uh, you can get you can look for marine biology um, Facebook groups so I'm on networking and oh gosh I will list them down below the Facebook groups that I'm on there they keep on sending various places that you can go to study marine biology they give their like students who've passed out from certain universities are there and people are very cooperative on Facebook you can just send them a message saying hi I'm looking at this university I want to join this university I want to know more about the degree is it beneficial what are the ups what are the pluses and the minuses of this degree and they help I'm telling you I I contacted like three people who passed out from JCU and they were really really helpful so always take a look at Facebook groups as, as well as Instagram. Instagram, you keep on looking hashtag marine bio, you'll find at least five marine biologists on that page and you can find out what they've been doing, what kind of research they've been doing. That's what I did. So yeah. Um yeah. Oh, also guys, there's a difference between marine science and marine biology. So as it says biology covers the biology stuff of marine science marine science will include physics and chemistry and maths so like i have friends who are doing the bachelors of marine science and they have chemistry and math and all this so that's like a whole sphere whereas marine biology is a marine biology is a part of that sphere so take a look at these kind of degrees also they give you marine science degrees or they give you marine biology degrees so it's up to you what do you want to do and what you feel if you if you're not so keen on marine bio you can also take a look at marine science there's chemistry the thing is i'm very bad at chemistry so <laughs> i wouldn't have looked at that at all but yeah um yeah that's it you guys i don't think i have anything left to say I'll, obviously I'll check in with you guys mid year as to how my course is going give you a little bit more tips 
if you if anything if you guys want anything please comment down below you can always um contact me on my instagram as well i'm active there yeah thank you for watching and peace okay yeah. so guys have a great day thank you for tuning in do subscribe it helps me a little bit and please comment down below if this video helped you and if you want to know anything more. Alright. Bye guys. See ya. Monday, ten dollar tickets Tuesday to Thursday. Woo! Back. Okay. We have the Chase Youth Education Student Society over here. Mm -hmm. Soccer. Interesting. Favorites. This is the Society. 